Chill out. I need to film some content for my YouTube channel, Strawberry Spills of Tea. Hey guys, Straub's here, and I'm currently walking to Cinnamon's annual Halloween party. I'm dressed as a hot bride on her honeymoon. So cute. And Raja's a tampon. I am an astronaut. It is so obvious. Not really. You're probably wondering why I'm in the back of a van dressed like a stripping bride. Well, it's actually because I'm going to a crazy Halloween party and it's really hot in there and I'm going to be macking on so many hot guys. <laughs> Can't wait. Hey guys, Strawberry here and welcome back to Strawberry Spills the Tea. And you're probably wondering, Straps, why do you like not have your makeup done and stuff? Like obviously I have my lash extensions because I pay lots of money for that. But yeah, I don't have my makeup on because I was basically abducted into the squid game. But that's okay because not only did I win $10,000 that is going straight to my Brazilian butt lift, I also got so much tea that I'm gonna put all over my YouTube channel. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's on my YouTube channel because it like totally got exposed to the whole school. But I learned so much tea about everyone, which means I can now go back into everyone's personal life and dig even deeper. Like some of these people I didn't even know had tea in their life. Let's start with Agnes. Turns out Agnes actually likes Chad and doesn't want an open relationship. I mean, that's not good for me because that's probably what Chad wants from her. But the funny part is Agnes doesn't want to date Chad on a more committed, like, <sighs> a lot of working out. The issue is Agnes thinks Chad is too stupid for him. Which, like, to be honest, Chad isn't the brightest of the bunch, but it's okay, because he's so hot. Like, we all know if we want to date Chad, we're not dating for his brain. But yeah, some tea on Agnes. Some tea on Daniel. Turns out, he secretly liked Tootsie this entire time. But what's even more crazy is he's bisexual. I mean, to be honest, I could understand that. Which... I always wondered, why was he really dating Cinnamon? <laughs> Guess it was just for popularity. Oh, <sighs> I'm still in the squid game. I asked the master since I did win if I could use the entire gym to kind of work out on my physique. Plus I have to finish filming some content. Oh yeah, who would have thought that about Daniel, right? Tootsie and BY? I mean, Tootsie does have man shoulders, but she's actually a girl. So I guess you get the best of both worlds. Another crazy thing, turns out the man of my dreams, Chad, is actually older. Here I thought he was our age this entire time, but his secret was that he failed so many times that he's actually older than us, which honestly makes sense because I only really do go for older guys. That's probably why I like Chad. The funnier part of this whole situation was Samantha and Gladys. Turns out those freaks are so obsessed with Cinnamon, Samantha uses Cinnamon's photos to catfish boys and Gladys, <laughs> made a wig out of Cinnamon's hair so she can pretend to be Cinnamon in the mirror. That is some crazy fetish stuff. I knew people are crazy, but I didn't think people were that crazy. <laughs> some more tea. Turns out Tootsie actually has a list of all the guys she wants to date, and Raja, who's her boyfriend, isn't number one. I mean, that's just crazy. So now my goal is to find that list and see who the top nine guys were. Daniel's obviously number one, but I want to know who two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine are, because Raja's 10. Honestly, between me and you guys, I don't think Raja and Tootsie are gonna last. There's no way after hearing that your 10th choice, people have an issue being second place, but your 10th place in Tootsie's heart, there's no way anyone can come back from that. They're definitely gonna break up. Some tea on rhubarb. Turns out she cheated on Raja her entire relationship with Ashton. Now, for you guys who don't know, Ashton's actually my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, we dated for like four months. We only kissed, but that was about it. Yeah, oh, guys, I thought that was an entrance. No, oh, here this way. Yeah, it's true, Ashton and I only kissed. And to be honest, the rules of feminism is that you never date your best friend's ex. And I know I don't consider Rhubarb my best friend, but she thinks I'm her best friend. So yeah, tea on Rhea, she's a virgin. That's not really tea, to be honest. I mean, the whole world knew she was a virgin. To be honest, you didn't need to know. You could just look at her. Now, me and Cinnamon both came in second and first place. She was the runner up. I beat her. So of course I wanted to know 
what her secret was. But the crazy part is, as her secret was about to be revealed, her cousin La Cienega came out. I haven't seen La Cienega in a year since she revealed that whole thing about Cinnamon last year, about why she left boarding school. Turns out Cinnamon left boarding school. She actually got bullied out, oh, yeah. There's a photo. I actually have it. Insert photo here. How funny is that, guys? I know. But what's crazy is La Cienega is now coming to Beverly Valley High, which only means she's obviously going to destroy Cinnamon's life. I mean, why else would you be coming to Beverly Valley High, right? So now my goal with that is to become frenemies <laughs> with La Cienega because I need to know her entire life story. I need to know everything there was about Cinnamon that I don't know. Everything prior to Beverly Valley High. <sighs> Trust me, guys. I'm on it. I'm going to find out so much dirt. It's crazy. But now we got to talk about the real situation, Raja. Turns out Raja likes me. I mean, the whole world likes me. That's no surprise. But to find out Raja likes me, Raja's seen me change. He's literally seen me naked because I just thought of Raja as a friend. You know when like you change in front of your guy friends because you don't actually consider them a guy? That's when I thought of Raja. My butt has been out so many times, I can't even count on two hands. He never once said, Strawberry, what are you doing? Never. He just watched. And now it all makes sense. He secretly liked it. Because he likes me. Like I said earlier, there's no way him and Tootsie are going to stay together. Maybe I'll have some fun with him. <laughs> but I can't date him. Right? No. I can't do that. Ew. That's like <laughs> social suicide. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you later. I gotta get out of the squid game. I hear they're starting a whole new game with another school right now. And honestly, I just like, wait a second. <laughs> Should I totally participate and find out juice about another school? <laughs> L-M-G. Guys, looks like I'm going to play another round of squid game. Oh, and here come the new students. Oh, I recognize those students. They're from Hollywood High School. The boys there are stunning, guys. You don't even understand. I am definitely participating in this. There's like 20 kids here. 11 boys, <laughs> 9 girls. According to my calculations, that means I get like 2 boys. <laughs> But to be honest, the girls are kind of whatever. No one has a thing on strawberry. I'm definitely going to have all 11 boys to myself. Oh, they're waking up, guys. I have to go. Wait, half of them are still asleep. <laughs> Bye, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on all my socials. And let me know what other dart you guys want me to find out. The new boys at this school are so cute. <laughs> Looks like I'm participating in another squid game. Uh, where are we?